Okay, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today we're here to talk about a new Synthrotech MST module, the Stereo Output Mixer. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and created a massive mess of wires. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to show uh, just how awesome this module can be. What this module is, is a stereo output for your Eurorack. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Well, let's talk about how this thing functions. I'm gonna pull up a picture here, check this out. All right, now, what this module can do is we have two inputs per group. There's two groups, okay? So we can mix together a signal on A and then another signal on A. And then we can dictate where the pan is for that group. left, right, in the middle, or any mix in between. And then we have two inputs for B, and we can do the same down here. Now at the bottom, nice feature that we have here is we have two stereo outputs. That's right, it's not just left and right output, but it's actually two separate stereo outputs. So we have a 3.5 millimeter stereo output, and we also have a quarter inch stereo output. And what that allows us to do is, you know, we can use the 3.5 millimeter to, you know, send to just regular headphones. You can send it back into your Eurorack, different areas. You can use it split, um, or you can just use your quarter inch, split that, send it into, you know, your 5U units or out to your regular, uh, you know, studio mixer, whichever you prefer. Obviously, attenuating your signal here is going to adjust the volume. Okay, so you've got the ability to really bring in four signals and then mix them however you like as far as your panning. Now, on this particular patch, what I've done is I've used uh, the dual envelope generator from MST, which I'll be doing a video on that as well, um, along with uh, the Anamodule uh, double DVCA and allowing that to have a signal crossfade between the two signals. And of course, if I want to send that to the middle, or swap the channels that I had it going to. Now what's nice about this module is that it's very compact. So for all these features, you have it in a very tight space. So if you uh, want a mixer that can output stereo, you don't need to take up uh, you know, 12 HP like some of these modules do. Now let's go ahead and get a better look at the module itself. 
Okay, so here we are looking at the module itself, and you can see here we have the quarter inch output, our 3.5 millimeter output. Again, both of these are stereo. We have our two inputs for A, two inputs for B, and then of course an attenuator for each one of these. These will be available in both a PCB panel or a completed kit so that you can build it yourself or you can buy the complete modules from Synthrotech as well. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward build. The only uh, challenges might be that it does use stand-up resistors. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward build. I'm going to remove the module now and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we have the module and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how the build is. So we turn it around to the side here. You can see it's just one PCB and some stand-up resistors on here, as I noted earlier. Just one chip here, okay? Now the only wiring that you actually have to do is this one quarter inch connector, which sits in here quite easily. If you follow the instructions on the Synthrotech site, you should have no problems whatsoever building this module. Built this module in, I wanna say about an hour and a half, and that was pretty leisurely, so shouldn't take you too long to build it. Anyway, this is Flux with fluxwithit.com, checking out the Synthrotech MST stereo output module. Check it out.